Hello and welcome to Bob's Programming Academy. In this video, we present a business website template for a company built using React 18 with TypeScript 4, Material UI 5 and Django 4. We've had a request from one of our viewers to extend a dark theme business template that we showed on the channel a few months ago and add a light theme version and the ability to switch between dark and light modes. We really like the idea, so we've decided to extend this business website template and create this follow-up video demonstrating the changes in the template. This business website template now has two color themes, so we can switch from dark mode to light mode and essentially change the theme on the fly. To change the color theme from dark to light, click on the sun icon in the header section of the page. To switch from light to dark, click on the moon icon. This is what the enterprise website template looks like. At the very top, we have a header with a logo and a menu. Below the logo and menu, we have a hero section with a short description and two buttons. Next, we have the product section. This section is split into two columns. Each product includes a product name, a description and an image. Next, we have the Services section. This section is split into three columns. Each service includes a service name, a description and an icon. Next, we have the Pricing section. In this section, we have three different pricing plans. Each pricing plan includes a plan's name, a price, a currency symbol and a list of features available in that particular plan. Next, we have the About section. This section is split into three columns. Finally, we have the Contact section. A map in this section is created using React Leaflet. Leaflet is an open source JavaScript library and it's a good alternative to Google Maps since it's completely free. This enterprise website template is fully responsive and it looks great on devices of all sizes. This is what the project looks like on an iPhone 12 Pro. This is an iPad mini. This is what the project looks like on a Nest Hub Max. To get access to this project, go to the project's GitHub repository. You can find the link in the description section below. Next, press the download zip button to download the code. Once you have downloaded and unzipped the project, open it in Visual Studio Code or some other code editor of your choice. Before we start, make sure that you have all the required prerequisites installed on your machine. The prerequisites for this project are Python, Node.js and Visual Studio Code. Alternatively, you can use some other code editor. First, create a virtual environment in the backend folder. To create a new virtual environment in Visual Studio Code, navigate to the menu on the top, click Terminal and then select New Terminal. First, 
run the command cd backend. Next, run the command python -m venv venv. To use this new Python virtual environment, we have to activate it first. To do that, run the command on Mac source venv slash bin slash activate. On Windows, venv backslash scripts backslash activate. Next, install Python packages listed in the requirements.txt file that are required for the backend part of the app. pip install dash r requirements.txt Next, run migrations. Migrations are Django's way of propagating changes you make to your models into your database schema. It's a two-step process. First, run the command to create migrations. Python manage.py make migrations. To perform the migration, that is to actually apply the changes to the underlying database, run the command python manage.py migrate. Django comes with a built-in admin interface, which is a great tool for managing all aspects of a Django project. We will use it here to add data to the database of our enterprise website. To use the Django admin, we first need to create a superuser who can log in. To create a superuser, run the command python manage.py create superuser. Next, type your username, email and password. Then retype the password to confirm it. You also need to install all the dependencies required for the frontend part of the application. In Visual Studio Code, navigate to the menu on the top, click Terminal and then select Split Terminal. In the second terminal window, run the command cd dot dot. This command allows us to go one folder up to our root directory. Next, run the command cd frontend. Finally, run the command npm install. npm is a standard package manager for Node.js. It manages downloads of the dependencies for your project. The npm install command will install all packages required for the frontend part of our portfolio website. Finally, we can run this project and see what it looks like. To run the application, you must have both the backend and the frontend part up and running. In one terminal window, from the backend directory, run python manage.py run server. This command will start the Django development server on your local machine. The Django development server is a lightweight built-in server written in Python. It was created so that you can develop applications rapidly without having to deal with configuring a production server until you're ready for deployment. By default, the server runs on port 8000 on the IP address 127.0.0.1. One twenty seven dot zero dot zero dot one is the IP address for localhost, which is your local computer. The eight thousand at the end tells you that Django is listening at port eight thousand on your local host. In the other terminal window, from the front end directory, run npm start. This command will start the second development server for the front end part of the application and load the application in your default web browser. The second server also runs on localhost, but this time on port 3000. Ok, so we can view the application, but there is no data. There is no hero section and there is no footer. The products, services, pricing, about and contact sections are all empty. To add data to this enterprise website, we will use Django admin. To access Django admin, go to http colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 slash admin. Sign in using the admin username and password created a few minutes ago. 
If you want to learn how to add data to this application and how to customize this template and change the logo, text, colors, fonts, images and so on, please watch our previous video linked here on the screen and in the description section below. You can also find detailed instructions on how to install, set up and customize this application in the project's GitHub repository. The link to the project's GitHub repository can also be found in the description section below. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel so you can be notified whenever we post something new. It really helps with the algorithm to get our videos out there to more and more people so that we can continue making them. We really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.